Hey guys, so now I am taking you back in time to when we first moved into this house to show you guys how far we have come. We have completely transformed our main living space and we've really transformed most of this home. But today we are focusing on the dining room and living room and we are just taking it from kind of beige and boring and just dated and brightening it up and making it feel more modern and more our style and our personal taste so i hope you guys enjoy this video we did this video or this makeover on a very tight budget we did most things ourselves my husband did an amazing job painting basically every square inch of this space and then we also had a wall all removed which you would think would be a very pricey thing to do but we did it on a very tight budget so I will talk to you guys about how we did that but I am just so so excited to share this transformation with you guys today so now this is a view of how our living room and dining space looked after living in our home for about a year and a half this is how everything was looking just a couple of months ago we hadn't really decorated or painted we did get some dining room furniture a table at least so we had that but we really hadn't changed very much in this space so you guys are going to see what a transformation this area has gone through in just a couple of months it really is crazy but I hope this video inspires you that you don't have to have a ton of money to really transform your space that you can actually update things with paint paint goes a long long way you guys you saw that in my kitchen makeover if you saw that video and the same is true for this makeover it is amazing and you can paint things besides just walls you can paint tile and you can paint pianos and all kinds of stuff so this is the process of removing the wall so we didn't remove the entire wall where we would need like a beam we left some of it but that allowed us to save a ton of money and then actually our flooring was not glued down it was just nailed down so we were able to reuse most of our flooring and only purchase a little bit so this whole project was very very affordable I will give you guys a ton of views of how open everything feels now, but as you guys can see my little Henry running around in this picture, it has made such a difference opening up this space so that we have room in between our dining room and living room. It is crazy how much it has changed just our family life, being able to really utilize our living room and dining space and the kids can just run around so much more easily. So it has a been you know not free but a pretty reasonable house update that has made a big difference in our lives 
So we did just continue the trim that is in the other areas of our home just to make it look seamless and like it was just meant to be this way, like the house was built this way, and it really does feel like this is how it was supposed to be. So during this wall removal, me and my little guy spent a lot of time going to At Home, one of our favorite stores. No, this is not sponsored by them. Just one of our favorite stores looking for all of the decorations, which is like the icing on the cake for this makeover. The first thing that I decided to focus on was figuring out a new rug. So <laughs> I struggled with the rug a little bit in our kitchen makeover if you guys saw that video and of course the struggle had to continue in this video as well. It was not nearly as bad but I decided to try a layered look so I thought it would be really fun to have a black rug. I actually chose the exact same rug that we have in our brown breakfast nook area but just a little bit bigger but it wasn't quite big enough in my opinion so I thought okay I will layer it with a jute rug so that's what I'm trying to do right now I am in the third trimester of my pregnancy I'm giving birth in just a few weeks so you know all of this is a struggle but you got to do what you got to do so anyway as I did that I realized the jute rug was not nearly big enough and I just decided to save a little bit of money and just stick with the one rug. I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but I think it is just fine. And if you're wondering about the gray and cream rug, we actually decided to keep it and put it in the dining room. That was my husband's idea and I wasn't super fond of it at first, but we tried it and it actually looks really good in there. It really goes with the vibe and it saved us a lot of money. That rug we've had for a long time. It was from Sam's, I believe, or Costco, and it was really affordable and has held up great. So I'm really glad that we were able to reuse it in a different space. It makes both of the spaces feel new because we have a new rug in the living room but then we have a new rug in the dining room because it hasn't been there before. Another big part of this makeover is rearranging the furniture. We decided to move the TV to above the fireplace and the only way I could be convinced to do that is if we got the frame TV. So I will show you guys that in a minute. We are absolutely in obsessed with the frame TV. It is an investment but it's 100% worth it in my opinion. It just really transforms the space. I know Joanna Gaines from Fixer Upper would just not even put a TV in her makeover videos and I just feel like that is unrealistic because most people do have a TV and so having the frame TV it's basically a picture frame you have like digital art it makes it beautiful but then it's also functional which is what you want especially in a family type home so we're just moving all of the junk and then I actually love that piece that white piece of furniture that we just moved and I thought I was going to have to put it away in the garage for now because I wasn't sure where I would put it. It's from West Elm and I get tons of compliments on it all the time and have had it for years and it's still my style which is something I'll talk about in this video finding your personal style and really going with that I love the black and white and wood look that is something you will notice in this video I'll share with you my color scheme and everything that I have going on but that is something that I have loved for many many years like five years plus so I knew I wanted to go with that in our main living space just so that I don't get bored of it quickly and want to change it up. So since that was like exactly my color scheme, I really wanted to keep that piece of furniture but wasn't sure where to put it. But we find a spot for it and I am so, so glad it's actually the perfect spot for it. Everything just came together and I'm so happy to share the, or so excited to share the final reveal with you guys. But first it is time to paint the living room. We decided to go with the same color paint that we did in the kitchen, which I made the mistake of not saying what color that was in that video. And I've tried to respond to people, but people still ask. So that color is Repose Gray by Sherwin-Williams. It's just a really nice kind of grayish color. And I think it just goes nicely with most things. I personally love 
love gray walls. I think it's a much brighter and modern feeling color, but it's still a color. I know there's like a trend of just doing white walls and everything. I'm just not quite there yet. I feel like I need some more warmth than that, and I feel like a grayish color like this really does that for me. In the middle of all of the painting, because yes, there's a lot of painting, all of the trim had to be painted because it was like old and dated feeling. We just painted it a bright white and that really changes things. So painting will be going on throughout this whole video, but we decided to try out different arrangements for the furniture. We wanted a spot to feel open. This was actually my husband's idea and I think it was a fantastic idea. We wanted to have a spot that felt more open and inviting to go in to the living space and wherever that spot was that's where the piano would be so first we chose that area but then we really come into the living room from the kitchen so we ended up moving it to the other side again so you guys will see that my poor husband has to move the piano multiple times but he is a real trooper and I am just so lucky to have him kind of make my dreams come true with all of this. So I'm very, very grateful for him. He is a much better painter than I am. I am not very good at painting. Art is just not my thing. I'm much more into decorating. So I'm so grateful for him that he's good at it and he's willing. And honestly, the amount of paint that this house has needed has been a ton. We actually, or I'm going to say we because it's always a team effort in my mind, but my husband actually painted the stairs. That will be in a future video where I do like an entryway makeover, and I'll show you guys in that video. But that made a huge difference, and not just for the entryway, but also for the living room and dining room, seeing those beautiful stairs stairs so we've painted the front door we've painted all of the trim all of the walls it's a lot of painting but it's a really affordable option if you want to change up the look of your space you can choose a much more modern or bright color or just something that fits your own personal style and all you have to do is purchase the paint if you are willing to do the painting yourself so definitely something that I recommend we painted even the tile floors in our kitchen in our kitchen makeover video so we are not afraid of paint and we actually love it in this video you guys will see us paint the tile on the fireplace and just paint the whole fireplace and that has really updated it a ton and made it fit into our personal style as well. We actually painted our master bathroom shower as well and that really updated it. It's kind of crazy how much nicer it made our shower feel. We will be doing like a whole makeover DIY makeover video in our master bathroom as well. So stay tuned for that. We are big DIYers over here. This home has suited our family so well. Like I said, we've been living here for about a year and a half and with our growing family, we have three boys boys and I'm currently pregnant with our first girl and she will be born very soon so with our growing family we really needed a nice size home in a nice area of town that we felt where our children were safe to go play outside and all of that fun stuff so this home definitely checked off all of those boxes but it is an older home and it's pretty dated it was really well taken care of as far as having double paned windows, plantation shutters, a new roof, new foundation, which is important here in Texas, and all of those really practical things. It has amazing landscaping and curb appeal. So we are so blessed to have this home and it has, right when we moved in, it was really well taken care of by the previous owners, but it just was not updated. It was not our personal style. It felt very dated in many ways. And so it just wasn't that pretty, I guess. And then of course, removing this wall has made a huge difference practically for our family, just for making this living space really somewhere that we want to be and that we can spend a lot of time in and have room to move around. So 
you know, we've done some practical things, but then also just making the space more our style makes it feel really comfortable and beautiful. And it, everyone just wants to be in this living space. Moving the TV above the fireplace has really been another practical thing that you might not realize how much better it is when you just change up the layout of your space. Maybe your space isn't quite right for your personal family. For whatever reason, moving the TV above the fireplace has made everything feel more inviting and has brought our family together. So as you guys can see with the kids running around in this video, we did, or my husband did all of this painting with the kids around, which, you know, is more affordable, but also can be really exhausting and stressful. But watching this video back and seeing them just so interested in what their dad is doing, Jack, our two-year-old, goes all around the house, touches the walls and says, dad, dad, paint, dad, dad, paint. And it's just so adorable how proud they are of him and how they got to witness all the hard work that he put into our home so at the end of the day I think it was wonderful that they got to see it and you know it was stressful at the time because you know I am you can't really see me a lot but I am constantly trying to get especially the two-year-old to leave his dad alone and not get into the paint and spill the paint we did have a few paint spills and a few incidents like that as you can imagine with little ones around so it was definitely stressful, but at the end of the day, it's just kind of cool for me to see our family just kind of interacting around my husband, working hard, painting our home to make it beautiful for us. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink. I could go for some Queen B2. Bass is going boom, boom. Baby, if you're looking for some crazy, I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line for the water slide. all over it <laughs> watch out Jack hey guys, Ken. Henry can you move that's behind yeah. Dada can you move that bag oh. going for a ride boys here we go Whee! we can take the roller coaster Take 
lugar. We decided to paint the fireplace tile because it's a lot more affordable than replacing the tile. It wouldn't be crazy expensive to replace it because it's not very big of a space, but I think when we do renovate this fireplace, which we will in the future someday, we're going to totally redo it, which will be a little bit pricier. So for now, this is a great affordable option. We buy paint that is specifically meant for tile. I will have it linked down below because I can't remember the name of this paint right now. I will try to have like all the paint colors and everything that I can either listed or linked down below for you guys. So definitely check out the description box if you have a question about something like that. Of course, you can always comment as well and I will try to get back to you guys as many as possible. I love all of your comments and I would love your feedback and to know how you guys react to this video, what you guys think about everything that we did. Hi guys, let's do the challenge. Someone look at me. Hi guys, me happy. I don't I don't Okay, yes, now we have a level one shot and a level three shot. Okay, and you can play it up. Anyway, we were actually considering painting the entire fireplace black, which I'm actually glad we did not do. I thought it would be a cool effect, something kind of different, but I think it just would have been a little bit too much, too dark, and I really like the contrast with white and black. That's just something that I love as I was talking about earlier, like with that piece of furniture with the white and the black knobs and the wood. I love all of that. And so white and black makes a great contrast. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. The white part of the fireplace is actually very beige. So my husband painted that just a bright white and then we painted the tile and or he painted the tile. I'm going to keep accidentally saying we, but he painted the tile and I am really happy with how it turned out. I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night Remember seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd There was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind Stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you I don't know what I said, but the next thing I knew Is that I held you in my arms and you asked what we should do What should we do, what should we do I said you can do what you want to with me Yeah, I won't mind as long as you stay with me, I'm alright I wanna hold ya And we started walking the streets And then we stopped for a while And you said you wanna kiss me I remember thinking Is this really happening? Happening, happening I never thought I'd meet someone so beautiful I couldn't quite believe it It was magical Just kissing on the street lights On our way back home Our way back home Our way back home I said you can do what you want to with me Yeah, I won't mind as long as you stay with me, I'm alright I wanna hold ya
I wanted to do something a little bit different in the dining room. As you can see, little Jack just loved to watch his dad paint, but then he would try to touch the paint or get into it, and I would have to interfere, but it was sweet when he would just sit and watch. Um, but I wanted to do something a little bit fun and different in the dining room, not just the repost gray by Sherwin-Williams that we did on most of the walls in the living room and the kitchen, and you'll see we'll put that in the entryway as well. So so since it already has this kind of two-tone thing going on with the trim, we decided to do white on the bottom half like we did in the kitchen. So I feel like hopefully it kind of ties into the kitchen in that way because it does have a little bit of this trim in the kitchen as well. And then for above, I decided to go with a charcoal gray. And I'm really glad that I did this. It's pretty dark, so it's kind of different for me for walls to be that dark, but since it's just the upper part of the wall, I think that it works. So I will share more about that in a minute, but I just thought I would bring you guys along for some of the decor purchases. These were from TJ Maxx, such an amazing find. I love the wood and black. It really goes with the vibe I'm going for in here, but then I also love the glass. They're meant to hold candles or something, and I did put candles in them at one point, but I actually didn't like it. I am kind of weird. As you can see, there's candlesticks right there. Those will go above the fireplace. Those are from at home. I think candlesticks are kind of just like a decor piece and you don't have to necessarily put candles in them. You guys can let me know if you feel the same. Um, we didn't purchase a ton of, I hope you guys didn't hear that. Maybe you did. My kids are going crazy. Um, banging on walls and who knows what upstairs. They're with my husband though while I do this voiceover. But we didn't get a ton of new furniture for this space. We worked a lot with what we had, which saved a ton of money, but I did purchase this chair. I had some gift cards to Target. Chairs can be surprisingly expensive, but I'm so glad I got this chair. I am in love with it. I will share more about it in a minute, but I love like, or maybe I'll just share about it now. I love the vibe it gives. It's more elegant. You guys will see it eventually get a better look of it in the space, but it feels very elegant. I put it next to the piano, which pianos to me are very elegant elegant and it has the wood and it has a little bit of cream so basically the color scheme I'm going with is the light gray on the walls white cream and then black of course and I added in charcoal last minute and I really am glad that I did that it charcoal you know it's a different form of gray so I feel like it's not introducing a totally new color but it still is a little bit different than black or gray that was Jack just screaming my name, but I am back. So anyway, I just thought I would talk about the color scheme and my choices. I am wary of choosing a particular color because I know I will get sick of it. It has happened to me plenty of times. So that's why I like to pick the more neutral colors. However, I do think that eventually I will add some in with pillows or decorations just things that are a little bit more affordable and you can change them in and out. I love to add like true oranges during the fall season for Thanksgiving and fall and all of that. And then I like to add the true greens, like the traditional greens and reds during Christmas time. So, so my husband accidentally spilt some paint on our coffee table. It was actually too big for the space now that we rearranged things. So I wasn't too mad about it because that meant I got to get a new coffee table, but it's just funny when you're DIYing and you're doing things with kids around and you're just, you have a lot of work to do, um, you just kind of do the best you can and try to do things a little bit quicker and so accidents can happen. But back to the color scheme, another thing I like to do instead of adding just like some bright colors or something is I like to add texture. So I like to add that through wood. So to me, wood is a natural or natural, a neutral like our bamboo shades. Some people thought that didn't go with our kitchen makeover, but to me, that's just a wooden, you know, shade and it's, you know, a neutral and it goes with some of the other wood pieces I have in the kitchen. So the same thing 
in here I like to add wood I also like to add greenery or different types of plants so you guys will see that I use fake ones because I am not at a point in my life that I can keep real ones alive that's just not gonna happen things are too crazy right now so maybe one day I'll have a real one uh, real plants but for now they're all fake but that's okay I used to only have like the green type plants like that fake fiddle leaf fig over there which I will try to link anything I can find down below like things that are from Target should be more easy to find but in this video I did add different types of plants not just green plants to try to make things feel a little more edgy and less matchy matchy and I think it looks really good I also like to add texture with blankets and pillows that have a lot of texture on them so you guys will see that in a minute but I do feel like choosing this charcoal color was more of a bold choice and doing something a little different in the dining room than the living room even though they are open to each other um, kind of define the space so even though I don't try to mess with colors that I think I'll get tired of the things that I like I will go a little bit more bold like we have a black accent wall in our bedroom and we did that like a year ago or something and I still love it even though that's kind of a bold choice and different than what maybe most people would choose you may also notice that we painted the front door black I have always wanted to do that like paint the interior door black I think it really ties in with the stairs but that will be in the entryway makeover video that you will see us doing that but it does really tie everything together since this is all kind of one open space so it definitely makes a difference for the dining room and living room as well
right now you are probably thinking that I chose black for the piano, but I actually went with a charcoal color and I'm really glad I did. So first my husband primed the piano with just some primer and then we used chalk paint instead of regular paint, which I think really adds something. I've seen people do that on Pinterest with pianos and i considered a lot of colors well <laughs> a lot i considered white that was the first thing i thought i would paint this piano years ago or a year ago or whatever then i thought oh maybe black would be fun and elegant for a piano but then i thought that it's such a big piece and i didn't know if i wanted to go with just black um, so then when I decided to paint the dining room, the upper half charcoal, I thought, well, maybe it would be fun to pull that charcoal color into the living room with the piano, which is another big piece. So it could kind of tie the living room and dining room together in that way. And I'm really glad I went with this. When my husband was first painting it while it's still wet, it looked black and I didn't really like it. But then as it dried and you can kind of see it drying in different spots, you could really see the charcoal and the chalk paint kind of style. And I just love it. I actually think the piano and the decorations around it is one of my favorite spots in this whole makeover. I think the charcoal charcoal color kind of gave the piano an edge and made it feel a little bit more unexpected and then with the decor that I chose I tried to give it a little bit of an edge as well so you guys will see that in a little bit but I'm really happy with this and I'm so grateful to my husband for painting this piano we also had the bench covered like the cushion part redone and that looks really good as well i am so happy it just really looks like this piano got a facelift and it makes it feel like a brand new piano uh, my husband also painted all the gold spots with the black paint that he used on the tile Oh, and just a little side note on this piano, all of my kids either are taking piano lessons or will take piano lessons. I absolutely love the piano and I love having it out in our living room or just in a space where everyone is because my kids just naturally go to it and want to play on it and are naturally interested in learning the piano, which learning an instrument is so, like, so good for kids. So I'm so glad that we found a spot like with by repainting it and having the bench recovered and then rearranging our furniture, we have finally found a spot that makes the piano really feel like it's meant to be in the space and not just kind of standing out and just pushed in there just to have the piano. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I've moved this piano around a few times and I feel like it's finally in the right spot now. After all of the painting and everything, it's finally time to change out the light fixtures, which this was so exciting. This made a huge difference. Truly, when we got this new light fixture up, I felt like it made our house seem so much newer, much less like the old home that it actually is by adding a more modern, updated, and in my opinion, beautiful light fixture. So my father-in-law is over. This was definitely, this whole makeover was definitely a family affair. So my father-in-law came over to help my husband remove the old light fixtures and put the new ones up we also got a new fan which that's kind of a whole story in itself which I'll share with you guys in a minute but this light fixture is just from Amazon I'll have it linked down below it was super affordable but I think it feels really fancy and it was really not that hard to put up at least I don't think so it didn't appear that way I wasn't the one doing it but um, it didn't appear to be too difficult. We just had to make sure it was level on all sides and everything. I went with this lantern style light fixture that is kind of rectangular. And so it looks like it's naturally more facing towards the living room because I felt like it just kind of completed the look and made sense for the space to have the light fixture 
just kind of facing the living room where we opened up that wall if that makes sense I hope that's making sense to you guys so it just kind of looks like everything is meant to be facing the living room and it's all kind of tied in together like we have the table facing that way as well so hopefully that will make sense especially as you guys see the final shots we recently got this laser level thing from Lowe's and we love it for hanging things. Hanging stuff is so stressful. I've talked about this on my channel before, but it's really, really, it's like one of the main things that gives me anxiety, I swear. It is just so stressful to me because I want it to look right and my husband is so sweet to hang things, but it is definitely like a stressful moment when we're hanging things together. So anyway, I feel like that laser level thing really helped. It didn't make it perfect. You know, it's still a struggle hanging things, but it definitely helps having that. After hanging everything up, it was about time to start putting the decorations out, like making sure that everything looks good and just vacuuming, wiping things down. And it is about time for the final reveal. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. But one snag we ran into, which I feel like this is just real life. And anytime you're doing a renovation or a makeover or whatever, you're gonna run into issues like this. So we tried to switch out the light on our fan in our living room to a more cool toned light. That's what we have switched most of the light bulbs in our home to. And when we were doing that, somehow the light got broken and we ended up having to get a whole new fan. So here's my father-in-law again coming over to help us out with that which was so sweet of him and I'm actually really glad I wasn't glad to have to spend the money on a brand new fan because it is pretty similar to our old fan but I love the black so we went with a black fan which I feel like is kind of a trend right now I see people doing this um, but I think it just makes it feel kind of like a chandelier and more of a decorative moment than just a boring old fan like what we had previously was just plain white and you know here in texas it gets really hot and we just have to have a fan in our living room we cannot just do a chandelier although i would love that i think it would be so pretty but i think the black fan is kind of a compromise and so it was kind of a happy mistake just like with the coffee table and now it is time for the icing on the cake the decorations these are the final touches of this makeover and I got all of these items in very affordable ways either from TJ Maxx at home or Target I spent a lots and lots of time wandering around at home oh there's the word wander I actually found that in my one of my kids rooms I think I was going to do like a like a map kind of world theme but I actually think it looks kind of fun and quirky on the piano these I found at Michael's those little fake plants and I got it with my mom and which I really liked that because it's kind of wild and free and it just kind of goes with the piano in my mind I also got that little glass ball thing you saw on the piano from at home and that was just something I found that I thought was really pretty and fun and random. So whenever you are decorating a space, you know, I try to stick with my color scheme and you know, with some maybe trendier pieces, but I really like to go with just what makes me happy and just things that I like. Something that I feel really makes the space is the frame TV. It is just so much fun to change up the art whenever we want. You can actually change up the outside frame. So if we wanted it to not be black anymore, we could change it to like white or wood or something in the future. You can purchase stuff like that. So absolutely love that TV. And then in the dining room, this is where I ended up putting this piece of furniture. I didn't think this is actually what it's meant for. It's a buffet and not a TV stand like I've been using it for many years for but I was afraid to cover this window but it's such a big window and I think the light still really comes through and I love that this buffet gives me another space to put decorations so for now it's just my regular decorations but I can decorate it for fall and Christmas as well I got another one of those little glass ball things I don't know I just 
love it. I think it's pretty and fun. So I am really happy with where this piece of furniture went. I love that I was able to use something reuse something that we already have and just add little decorations it definitely saves a lot of money that way I've been waiting all my life for someone like you like you I would watch the days go by wasted in blue I was out of use now every day every night every moment with you I'm walking
Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this makeover video. It is just crazy to me seeing these before and afters. It is amazing what a lot of paint, a lot of love and hard work, and just some affordable decorations can do to a space to make it just bring it to life and make it your own. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process and the journey to get here because it was definitely that. And each piece that we have in our space just reflects our style and our home. I do want to put some pictures of our family up, like I think a gallery wall above that couch to the left over there maybe some black frames with some white mats and black and white photos so there are a few more things i would like to do to this space but for the most part it is fully decorated please let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the makeover was and definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here i am constantly putting out cleaning motivation videos as well as makeover videos we have a lot more coming like the entryway will be coming very soon and then eventually our master bathroom Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That truly helps out my channel. And be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting behind the scenes and more per personal things over there in my stories. And then also I do have a vlog channel that I will be posting the birth of our little girl very soon because she will be here in just a few weeks. So I'll be posting that over there and just lots more personal vlogs and behind the scenes. I have a behind the scenes video of this makeover on that channel already so definitely check that out and i just want to thank you so much for coming on this journey with us i truly appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time bye